Urgent news. The US has changed the rules for regulating cryptocurrencies. The chairman of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Gary Gensler, said on Friday that financial agencies in the United States should share a single set of cryptocurrency rules to prevent loopholes due to a fragmented regulatory structure. The recommendation came after a bipartisan bill on cryptocurrency supervision was proposed, in which a large role is assigned to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. In fact, Gary Gensler is negotiating with his CFTC colleagues to ensure satisfactory protection and transparency regarding digital asset trading. Moreover, SEC Chairman Gensler claims that most digital tokens are securities. Previously, the SEC and the CFTC have never worked in tandem. The SEC oversees the securities industry, and the CFTC regulates derivatives markets. However, cryptocurrencies have led to both agencies taking over the supervision of the cryptocurrency market. As a result, the regulatory burden on the crypto market has increased significantly, along with increasing fines. According to Elliptic, an analytical company, U.S. regulators have collected $3.35 billion in enforcement actions against cryptocurrencies since 2008. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler has always called for strict supervision of cryptocurrencies and registration of crypto platforms with the SEC. Moreover, he worked on a memorandum of understanding with the CFTC, in which the SEC has jurisdiction over platforms hosting tokens considered securities. However, a bipartisan cryptocurrency bill drafted by U.S. Senators Kirsten Gillibrand and Cynthia Lummis suggests that most digital assets resemble commodities rather than securities. This put the supervision of cryptocurrency also in the hands of the CFTC, which potentially reduced the SEC's influence on digital assets. Gary Gensler believes that the general set of rules for cryptocurrencies will better protect investors from fraud and manipulation, as well as ensure transparency. He told the Financial Times. I'm talking about one set of rules on the exchange that protects all trading regardless of the pair, whether it's a security token to a security token, a security token to a commodity token, a commodity token to a commodity token. Quote, in January, CFTC Chairman Rostin Benham said that digital tokens are considered commodities, including Bitcoin and Ether. The CFTC is better suited to manage the cryptocurrency market. As the cryptocurrency market is under intense pressure, the SEC chairman warned that the cryptocurrency bill undermines market protection. He believes that most cryptocurrencies are unregistered securities that damage investor protection. The SEC has already filed lawsuits against crypto companies, including Ripple. In addition, the SEC is investigating the initial offering of BNB Binance coins in connection with a violation of the Securities Act. Speaking at the Collision Conference in Toronto yesterday, Brad Garlinghouse once again mentioned the current lawsuit and said that the SEC inconsistently introduces rules regarding U.S. crypto companies. The SEC took the position when they sued us that XRP is a security and always has been, but they approved Coinbase's entry into the exchange, even though Coinbase is not a registered broker-dealer, Garlinghouse said. He also added, the Commission does not want to do the routine work of defining a new set of clear rules and regulations. Instead they decided that they would regulate through enforcement, which is quite inefficient, and most likely will lead to the decline of innovation in the United States. Quote, I don't consider cryptocurrency a kind of Wild West, Garlinghouse said, most likely alluding to Gary Gensler's statements about the crypto industry. But at the same time, he agreed that cryptocurrency is a class of volatile assets, but the task of regulators is not to determine how this volatility should be available to consumers and companies. Quote, I don't think it's the Wild West at all. Ripple CEO at B. Garlinghouse believes that the SEC does not present the cryptocurrency in the right light. The lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC continues and many are waiting for its results, which will create a precedent for regulating cryptocurrencies in the United States. 
The Securities and Exchange Commission has classified the proposed amendments to Ripple's response to its objection to Amici's participation in the upcoming expert dispute. Explaining in the letter why it is necessary to edit some parts of Ripple's response, the Securities and Exchange Commission noted that the lack of editing of these parts will further expose the expert to a threat. In short, the proposed amendments to the response are narrowly adapted to ensure a higher value of protecting the safety of witnesses in light of the likelihood that harassment and threats in the past will continue in the absence of such steps, the excerpts from the report say. The SEC specifically edited footnote 1 in Ripple's response, which allegedly contains excerpts from an expert report. The Securities and Exchange Commission noted that the remaining proposed amendments correspond to the information about threats and harassment set out in the opposition's note. These corrections are appropriate because, as explained in more detail in the closing statement, information and arguments about harassment and the consequences of such harassment may fuel future efforts to threaten and harass an expert, the SEC said. It is noteworthy that the amendments proposed by the SEC appeared a few weeks after Ripple demanded that the court publish its response to the Securities and Exchange Commission's objection to Amici's petition to participate in an expert challenge. After the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission sent its objections to Amici's participation under seal to protect the expert from threats and harassment, Ripple followed a similar approach by also sealing its response. Due to recent events, Judge Annalisa Torres will now have to decide which part of Ripple's response to the sex objection to Amici's request to participate in the expert test will be put on public display. Meanwhile, the sex proposed amendments to Ripple's response were published by attorney James K. Phelan who shared a copy of the agency's letter signed. The SEC has filed under seal its proposed revisions to the Ripple defendant's response to the sex objection to Amici's motion to participate in the expert challenge. The SEC has also publicly filed a letter explaining the proposed revisions. Quote, the current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is $1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Now it is time to reveal who is the lucky winner of our giveaway. We randomly selected one fan who fulfilled all the conditions. And the winner is Tom Moore. Congratulations Tom Moore. So XRP Army let's all congratulate Tom Morph in the comment section below and tomorrow we will relaunch our weekly giveaway free 500 XRP. Now let's get back to the video. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.